Here's a live look at Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. Time there right now, it's around uh, 1040 at night. The Biden administration now battling what's being called a massive attack against free speech. It's now limited on when it can contact social media companies. ABC's Faith Abube has the details. The U.S. Department of Justice is reviewing a federal judge's injunction that could have major implications for First Amendment rights. The order from the judge, appointed by former President Trump, puts restrictions on when Biden administration officials can contact social media companies as a legal challenge moves through the court system. Republican attorneys general in Missouri and Louisiana filed a lawsuit claiming that the White House went too far in pressuring social media companies to remove misinformation about America's election security and the COVID-19 pandemic from their platforms. They're killing people. I mean, they really, they all, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. Judge Terry Doty calling the Biden administration's efforts a massive attack against free speech and targeted suppression of conservative ideas, adding in part, quote, American citizens have the right to engage in free debate about the significant issues affecting the country. The decision means top White House officials and several federal agencies, including the FBI and the Department of Justice, cannot communicate with social media companies for the purpose of urging, encouraging, pressuring or inducing in any manner the removal, deletion, suppression or reduction of content containing protected free speech. They can, however, contact them regarding any potential illegal activity and national security threats. And a White House official tells ABC News that the administration has promoted responsible actions to protect public health, safety and security when confronted by challenges like a deadly pandemic and foreign attacks on our elections. Again, the DOJ is now reviewing the administration's options. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.